Hello everybody, welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sideman. Today, we're going to have another little tip on transfer tape application. Um, various ways to apply transfer tape. Uh, I've showed a couple videos on some various ways that I do it. Here's just another way I'm going to do this uh, share the road sign for you. Show you my new little trick I just learned. Okay, I've got this uh, share the road supplement I'm going to make. It goes on the bicycle symbol and it says share the road. There's a lot of bicycle trails up here in the valley. Anyway, so this is a, I'm going to go on 18 by 24. So I have a piece of a roll of 18 inch transfer tape. So what I'm going to do is cover it. And what I'll do, I'll find my end. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just place it on my table and I'll just use my little squeegee and I'm just going to make sure I get a good secure, um, do about two inches or so over on the table it'll stick to. I'm just going to place the roll here, get my sign set up here and I'm going to simply just roll it out. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use another roll of transfer tape that I have to roll behind it. And we'll just kind of roll it out. And what it'll do, it'll apply it nice and even. Okay, I'm going to trim that off. I want to make sure I go ahead and use my Teflon squeegee here. All the air bubbles. I did get this off just a little bit. It left a little black uh, of the border exposed. You can either cover that if you want. Take a little strip here. Tape. And I can cover that up if I'd like. You don't really have to if you don't want to. Okay, nice and flat. No air bubbles. No nothing, no fuss, no muss. Just easily. Take it and you just can trim your edges. And there we go. Nice, easy application method. Uh, no air bubbles, just nice and smooth. Just another various way of applying transfer tape. I kind of found out this, this way works pretty good. If you've got a few items to do or so, usually I'll roll my bulk items through my roller. I showed you on some other episodes how I do. All right, here's another, another method that I use. I have this uh, rack that I built. It's out of uh, like a one inch square steel stock and I just drilled some holes through and put some uh, electrical conduit kind of works like a big dispenser here so sometimes a bigger um, transfer tape isn't as easy to use because it's uh, you know you only have one hand and it's longer so I made this and it kind of frees up so you can work with both hands now just pull it out kind of like a big scotch tape dispenser lay it over your um, material that you want to put your transfer tape on that little squeegee and you can just go ahead and you can work from the middle to work out, and make it nice and flat, get out any air bubbles that you need. These are um, for some end signs that I'm making. I just make up the symbol N, and then I make my own borders around the sign to show you how I've done that. It cuts down on materials and stuff. And then we'll just uh, go ahead and pick that up. Transfer to the sticks pretty good and everything. And then we're going to go ahead and just... Uh, Lay it back out to the other side, get the other two end signs done. Same thing, so you, now you can work with both hands to you know, lay out your material. It's like that extra set, set of helping hands. And I've seen some people, what they do is they get the narrower tapes, the four inch tape, and they say it's easier to work with by yourself. But I find this way works out pretty good. And then all you have to do is, uh, Flip it over and then just uh, trim the edges. Get rid of all that sticky tape. 
tape that hangs over the edge of your cereals. There I have my decal from my insides. Another one of my methods for applying transfer tape. Okay, here's my third method that I use. It's at the end of my roller table here. And what I did is I have a bolt up at the top here. This is just a piece of conduit, some one by one stock that I've mounted on the table. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and pull. This is a 36 inch roll of um, transfer tape. Pull it out. Yeah, so the roller, I got enough on the edge over here I can grab out. I'm going to adjust my pressure to my table to about 30 pounds is where I roll mine. Here's my, what I, I, I like this method when I have a lot of stuff to um, put transfer tape on, but I'm just going to show you this one for my series here, my three steps that I use for transfer tape. Just go ahead and you, you can push that in a little bit so it it, it goes between the roller and the transfer tape. If you roll it out a little bit, you can see how it'll kind of grab it and start to go. Then you have your transfer tape on the other side over here sticking out. It'll stick to that metal roller if you're not careful. You just want to pull it out. And you can just pull your design through. Once it's through, I usually have a knife with me all the time, but not this time. We'll just go ahead and trim it off the back. this up. Now this is my preferred method when I have a lot of stuff to do. Usually I'll, I'll run a whole bunch of signs at one time that I'm going to make and I might have a dozen or more signs that are in the process of being changed out or replaced here at the county. Um, some of you that are making like onesies and twosies at a time, you might try some of my other applications. This seems to work good. Uh, when you're done, go ahead and lift your roller up. Roll the uh, transfer tape back over. And there you have it. No air bubbles. You don't even have to use your um, squeegee on this thing because it's just flat and perfect. And it's, just, it's one piece of transfer tape and you don't have any seams or anything like that in it. I use this for a lot of my street signs when I don't want that little seam to show in the sign, even though probably you wouldn't see it driving. It just bugs me. Anyways, there's a couple little my tips on my three various ways that I apply transfer tape. As always, thanks for watching.